the anointing of the Spirit. Now, you can only relate to and work with that realm by working out of your own spirit, your recreated spirit, your natural realm. Your natural man cannot work with that because it's a spirit realm. It is the realm of God. You can only work with that out of your recreated spirit when you were born again. Your new creation man lives in that realm. You have to learn how to enter God's realm. To do that, you do it with your spirit. First Corinthians 2.14 says, The natural man, that's your natural man, the Adam man, the natural man, does not receive the things of the Spirit of God. He cannot know them. Because why? They are in the realm of spirit. And they can only be spiritually discerned. The things of God can only be spiritually discerned. So this natural man cannot know those things. We can only know them from our recreated spirit or with your spirit. And we realize and we understand that your spirit has the full set of senses. And those senses in your spirit are far superior to your natural senses in your physical body. You know, taste, touch, hearing, sight, all of those five senses. And, uh, but your spirit senses are far more acute, far more accurate, far more superior. And, um, you know, your spirit, you recreate a man has eyes. That's when the Bible talks about the eyes of the heart, he's talking about the eyes of your spirit, the recreated man. He has eyes and ears and hands and perception and feeling. He is a person. Your spirit is joined to the Lord and is one spirit with the Lord. Your spirit is joined to the Holy Spirit. When you become sensitive to your spirit, you become sensitive to the Lord. Because the two are joined. Okay? Now, so when you become sensitive to your inner mind, sensitive to your spirit, and begin to work out of your spirit, you begin to work with God, because your spirit is joined to the Lord. And in it is the nature of the Lord. So, you know, in touch, it means you're in touch with the spirit realm. You're in touch with the kingdom of God realm, which is an invisible kingdom. That kingdom is not where? Of this world. It's in the world of spirit. In spirit, in touch. Now, how do we do that? How do we bridge the gap from the natural to the spiritual? Well, the Bible tells us how. Okay. This is where all the pe religious people begin to manifest. Okay. But the Bible clearly tells us how to get into the realm of God's spirit, the kingdom realm. Okay. Well, firstly, it says, The pure in heart shall see whom? God. Purity of heart, we'll deal with that a little later, is very, very important because if our conscience is not clean, it locks us out of that realm. You know, if your conscience is not right, you cannot get into that realm because condemnation will hold you out. Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 7. For as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. As you think, it becomes reality. First, in the realm of the spirit, if you pursue with that kind of thinking, it will then manifest itself in the natural world. Let me say that again. As a man thinks in his heart, so he is. When you begin to think or imagine and focus, and the focus of your heart and you, and, and you being think, it becomes a reality, a reality in the realm of spirit. If you continue that form of thinking, that line of thought, thinking, it becomes manifest in the physical realm. 